Salut everyone, in this video we'll be talking about the latest release of Ubuntu, the 24.10 version. And the name of this one is Auricular Oriole. I know pronunciation is not there, but you will see the test is pretty straight to the point. Let's get into it. As always, let's start with a little bit of context. I did cover the previous release, which was the LTS release of Ubuntu five months ago. And the number of the release was, I believe, like 2404. And I was pretty disappointed, uh, to say the least, by this release. I found there were a lot of bugs uh, related uh, to the store, a lot of bugs within the desktop itself. And I found it like it was kind of like me. Okay, and, and I share my video and my point of view, my findings with you guys. However, this one is way, way, way more polished. I would call it this way. So let's jump into it because I have a lot of positive things to say about this Ubuntu release. And I know I've been bashing Ubuntu for the last three years for, I believe, good reason. But in this one, you will see that there is a lot of like nice points. So let's talk about the positive. The first point I want to mention is the installation process. Let's be clear, compared to the previous version of Ubuntu, this is a more, I would say, like polished installation process I've been uh, going through. And the, the bug I've been mentioning in my earlier video, which was like the installer kind of like messing up with your EFI partition on over disk in your PC, if you have multiple disks, is done now. So it's just keeping it to the hard drive you actually proposed. And I know it was the case in the previous version, but they did fix the bug and it's not coming back. Okay, like I, I, I want to be uh, super like clear on this one because with Ubuntu, we never know. But no, the bug is gone, which is great. The second point is related to all the NVIDIA users. If you have a NVIDIA card, in your PC and you plan to use Ubuntu, guess what? The latest drivers are going to be installed out of the box. The experience was awesome. I was super surprised. They did a really good job having everything ready to go. And uh, yes, like I have to say, having the latest driver properly installed is a big plus. So Canonical, please continue the good work. You are in the right direction. Another good point is GNOME 47. It was the latest feature they added in this release. And I have to say, like the experience on the desktop is awesome. It's really fluid. I don't want to get too technical there, but now everything is going through Vulkan and you will feel it right away. We are at a level of smoothness, which is equal as the type of smoothness you will get on KD. And I know some of you guys will be like, oh no, this was not the case. KD sucks and whatever. But objectively, GNOME was a little bit behind when it comes to like uh, moving windows around on your desktop. But there, they are playing like at the same level than KD when it comes to like smoothness and fluidity on your desktop. Even a little bit better, I would say. Like this is a great job, GNOME uh, team continue into that. So I, I won't cover all the new features related to GNOME 47. We'll talk a, a little bit about them in the negative part because I, 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 yeah, you would see. But overall, I would say for the, just the desktop part, it's, it's really nice. The other point you don't want to miss out in this release is the fact that now Ubuntu is pushing the latest stable version of the kernel directly into their release. So at the time I tried this uh, distribution launch, I think it was like three weeks ago, it was running the kernel version 6.11, which make it the latest one you could use at the time in the stable branch version. So you are running the latest one. And I have to say, this is a pretty good thing if you are using new hardware on your PC there is a high chance that uh, the latest driver is going to be able to handle it without any issue. So Canonical, another good one there. I really like uh, the approach there. Now, uh, some of you are going to be like really like not believing what I'm going to say, but I have to say like Snap is getting better on Ubuntu. It's not perfect. Don't get me wrong. 
but all the bug I encountered in the previous release, they have been ironed out. So the store, uh, like installing application through Snap, because I did install application through Snap during the stream. I'm going to put the link in the description below. And by the way, if you are here during this stream, it was a crazy stream. I got so much support from the community. Guys, you are the best. Uh, if you like my content, I really encourage you uh, to give a thumbs up, uh, watch my video, leave a comment down below, but also like support me financially through Patreon or the YouTube membership. Uh, I count on you guys. Uh, but like, yes, like I have to say Snap is getting better. Is it perfect? No, it's not perfect. But the number of bugs I encountered previously, I'm going to repeat it again, is way less than before. And because we are talking about Snap, like let, let, let's go into the negative. So yes, it's better, but it's not perfect. So what kind of like struck me during my text is like, I want you to install Steam via Snap. I know it's not recommended, but it's still uh, the one they push when you install it from the store. Uh, and uh, I, I had to try it. And I have to say it was better than the last time I tried. So in the store itself, you have now access to different versions of the Snap and you can choose the latest release or you can choose the latest stable one and i think this is this is a little plus but you will see like the performance of steam and gaming while running through snap was not good like uh, let's let's be clear uh, we saw a, a lot of like performance decrease versus using the native version the dot dev version on this ubuntu installation and it was pretty clear that uh, the, the snap was a source of a lot of issues. So if you want to see all those issues, I'm going to put a link of the full video, which is like three hours long, uh, which was streamed like three weeks ago in the description below, like that you're going to go through them. But long story short, uh, less performance. Some games they were not even launching, so which which was a problem. Uh, some game we launched, but like with less feature, which was another problem. Like some of the libraries, they were not incorporated into the snap so that that was definitively a problem uh, outside of gaming i have to say like snap still has this type of like weird behavior when you launch for example like firefox through it where firefox is slower so it happened less than before but it's still there and i have to share it with you guys like even if it's going in the right direction i believe it, it's not there yet so yeah another point i want to add for the gaming side is related to gnome 47 so GNOME 47, even if it has made a lot, lot, I would say, like of improvement relating to the desktop experience, I believe still lack when it comes to gaming. And let me explain. Uh, I had the same experience also on Fedora uh, 41, I think. Yeah, 41, we, we tested like like one week ago with GNOME and also like uh, Pika OS. Uh, some of those videos are going to be released pretty soon on this channel. If you want to know more about uh, those releases, please subscribe. So with GNOME 47, I noticed there were some bugs like left and right when you are trying to launch a game. So let me explain. Uh, I had this issue uh, with Deadlock. I will launch the game and then I will have like my screen freeze for like three or four seconds. And it happens multiple times and it was not related to any compilation shader on whatever. It's just like GNOME somehow, sometime kind of like struggle managing like uh, 3D acceleration and you will have like this frozen image on your screen for like three, four, five, ten seconds and then it will come back. And this is the type of issue you, you wouldn't get while gaming or launching a game on KD. And th this is a sad truth. I, I hope they're going to fix those issues soon, but I have to share them with you. And I, and I do believe it's not related to my NVIDIA card or anything because I had some viewers in the chat who were owning AMG card who encounter exactly the same issue. I hope they're going to fix it because I have to say like GNOME is becoming more and more promising, but it's still not at the level of over DE like KGE when it comes to pure gaming. So now we cover gaming, let's talk about content creation. So content creation, they still push their own like OBS version uh, through Snap. And man, I have to say, like, I, I don't like it. Uh, there is way too much plugin. The version of OBS is like so old. And some of the features are, are not there. And I believe some of you guys are going to be like, oh, yes, but we don't really care and stuff. And I had this discussion with one of my buddy. And he was telling me like, hey, you could do that on OBS. I was like, yes. And he was just like, like two or three versions behind, which still like him like create content, 
but it didn't have all the new features within OBS, which kind of like put him behind. And and, and I feel like this is crazy that uh, they move like to such a risky, like I would say, like tech to to use the latest stable kernel backed into the release, but they still refuse to push the latest version of OBS, which in in, in my opinion is not as bad if there is any type of like regression than, than the kernel itself so uh, again like uh, that, that's a problem in my opinion i think right now like what is really uh, really breaking the whole experience of ubuntu is just nap all right so how do we conclude this video i would say like ubuntu right now is in my opinion for gaming and content creation in the best space he has ever been it's not perfect. I do believe like Snap still requires a lot of work and it's still not suitable for content creation and gaming for the reason I mentioned previously in the video. However, I have to say like their choice uh, towards the kernel, their choice towards the implementation of the NVIDIA driver, uh, all those little choice kind of like add up and put it in a place uh, which is not like the perfect distro for gaming and concentration again but like still a really good distro a good base distro uh to, to start on so if you ask me how i would use ubuntu as a gamer and content creator if i had to switch toward it because i love ubuntu for whatever reason uh, i would say that I, I will choose the kubuntu version of it uh, because of GNOME limitation, as we speak, they're going to be certainly iron out in the future, I'm sure. But like KDE will give you a better experience if you want to play with HDR, uh, if you want to play with a variable refresh rate, but also like avoid all the little bugs I mentioned earlier. And I would say I, I will avoid Snap. Like just avoid Snap as much as you can. Uh, try to use Flatpak or just use uh, the, the, the native version of the application you really need but outside of that like ubuntu now is is at a point uh, which is really really attractive i have to say compared to what it was like two years ago you can see like they they took the right decision in my opinion and i'm, I'm really curious to see what they're gonna you know provide us uh, in the next like couple of release because i see like the improvement uh, month after month Guys, thank you very much for watching. I wish you to have a great rest of your day. Again, like, don't forget to subscribe, uh, give a like to this video, uh, leave a comment. And yes, I say Ubuntu and not Ubuntu, Ubuntu. No, it's Ubuntu, guys. Okay, so stop teasing me with this. Have a great rest of your day. And as always, bisous bisous.